it's not like breaking up these big tech companies will revive Main Street businesses around the country. Using a 20th century antitrust framework will not work. We need new solutions and a new toolkit. I'm not willing to give up and let a handful of monopolists dominate our economy and our democracy. It's time to fight back. Does Yang have a point? Are the current antitrust laws just outdated? No, of course not. It's ridiculous. You know, we sh we've known about stealing and theft and monopolization for a thousand years. Just enforce the laws we have on the books. You know, don't try to pretend like, you know, the concentration of power that are, exist in the hands of a, of a few is just some natural thing that's happening because of technology. No, we make choices about the rules of our markets, and that's very clear. Andrew Yang is just avoiding power so he can tell a story that's favorable to the powerful people that are backing him. It's ridiculous. It's annoying. It's stupid. It's like the same thing. He's saying, oh, we're going to automate all the trucking. Well, you know what? I've seen press releases about automated trucks since 2011. And you know what? I want to know why all the robots want to live in China and Mexico. We've seen this kind of con artistry over and over Hold and over in the Hold 20th century. No. To say that automation isn't real, look at the steel industry, okay? We're putting we've out had, the same... But we've Hold had on, automation please, since on, the please. 1790s. We're putting out the same amount of steel as we were 30 years ago with half the amount of employees. So come we, on now, Matt. No, we've had automation since the 1790s. Productivity growth, we, we should see, if the robots were really that big a deal, we should see massive productivity growth. And we don't. We see productivity slowdowns. And that's because, you know, you've seen declines in capital investment. The, the argument here is nonsense. I've seen this argument before. I go into it in Goliath in the 1920s and 30s. They made the same arguments to justify monopoly power and banking power. It's a con. Don't fall for it. We need to understand our history. This is the power of money talking. And Matt. on that stage, you you had no it, it really is Hold i mean that's what's second. going on we here